some Goodwills and we talked to some friend pickers and, and it's just, it's, I mean, it's, it's really cool. I mean, you've had, I, I, you see it all the time on these videos and it's true. It's so much fun. I have a blast. Even when you start out just kind of in a malaise, by the end of the day, you start to see friends, you start to see some things happen, you pick up some things and you're just off and going. Hey everybody, Mike, the Golden State Picker, in the garage, and the weather's turned. Now, I was wearing t-shirts, now I'm wearing a jacket. It went from 80 to 60, so it dropped 20 degrees. So we had about a week of that, it seemed like, and all of a sudden it just changed on us. So a little bit chilly in the garage. I don't have heater or air conditioning, so I have to suffer the full seasons of California inside my garage. Whew! All right, it's a good day. It's a good day. Now, it didn't start out great for me just because I just, I was having a hard time. I, I, I tell you, I think that jet lag is finally getting, o I'm getting over it, but it is, it was tough, been tough getting over that little bit of jet lag for some reason. I have no idea why, but I'm ready to go. Uh, took my wife to work and the book bin is pretty close to where she works. So I don't mind doing that a few times and then pick her up in the afternoon. So... We went off and we did books and then we hit savers and we hit some goodwills and we talked to some friend pickers and, and it's just it's i mean it's, it's really cool i mean you've ha i i you see it all the time on these videos and it's true it's so much fun i have a blast even when you start out just kind of in a malaise by the end of the day you start to see friends you start to see some things happen you pick up some things and you're just off and going off and going all I can do, guys, is tell you, hey, just let it fly. Let it fly. Have some fun. Let it fly. It's the best thing you can do. Don't worry about uh, uh, all the uh, stuff that goes around you. Get out there. Have some fun. Turn things around. And uh, if you're if you're having a, a struggle that day, don't worry about it. Just make somebody else happy. Say hello to somebody else, and uh, you'll you'll do it. You know, hey, I always enjoy. It. I'll give you a quick thing. Tyler, I know you watch sometimes, so Tyler is my friend. He's a book guy, and he's a young guy, and he's trying to learn everything, and Tyler's, Tyler has enthusiasm, too, and I think he sees it with me sometimes. Sometimes I'm not all that in the morning. It takes me, me a little bit to get going, but he sees it, and I just want to give a shout-out to Tyler. You're working hard, my friend, and you just got to stick with it. You got to stick with it, so that's a little shout-out for Tyler. Hopefully, you're watching, Tyler, and uh, I know you really are trying okay i see it all right so don't give up don't give up my friend all right let's start off with just some stuff we found we're just we got a lot of stuff and then we're gonna have some stuff we sold so we'll show you that too you know uh, all that kind of stuff now today in the uh, bin of books i didn't do terrific but i did well enough i got a few books that were good and i got this one bible now uh Somebody left a comment in, uh, on my last video about Bibles, and they were saying, oh, you shouldn't sell Bibles. You know, nobody should sell Bibles. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, then who's going to get Bibles? Because all the companies are making them, and they're selling them. So I, I don't I don't quite get that. And then somebody said, oh, you should only sell King James. And there's a whole thing about that. Yes, I am a Christian. I understand. I'm not perfect. I do uh, 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 have... Uh, the King James Version, I do use the King James Version. A lot of people don't like it because it's difficult to understand the, the the language sometimes and what they were meaning. Now, this is a Bible that kind of I'm, I'm going to talk about because it tries to help you uh, understand the translation of the Old English and the Hebrew and all that. It's called the Amplified Bible. This one's by Zondervan. It has to have a name on it. Okay, it does have a name, but inside is clean, meaning there's no... Uh, pages filled out for special events or presented to. So, now, this particular Bible will probably sell, believe it or not, for $130. It's from 1987. So, Bibles, you know, are, you know, when that one person put that comment down, you know, it, it is, a, it can be a struggle for some, but I figure, hey, there's somebody who really wants this Bible, and there it is, you know. Uh, they go to a Bible store. You go to a Bible store and see what Bibles go for. Some of them are extremely expensive. So I think we're well in line on what we sell these for. Um, I sell a lot of Bibles for $10, 12 $13 that people just can't get to them. 
So they have to order them online. We sometimes forget about that, right? There is Amazon. You can go on Amazon and get anything from anywhere. But if you want a specific Bible, you might not be able to find that on Amazon. So you've got to go to eBay or you've got to drive 100 miles to your local town and hope they have it. So I don't know. Uh, personally, I'm just going to keep selling Bibles because I think people need it. I actually sold one. I'm going to show you I sold one today. And we'll talk about that one in a second too. All right, put that one there. Now, one album today, I just happened to be sitting on the shelf. It's a band called Helix, uh, a metal band. But what is unique? I want to I want to explain to you guys some things about bi uh, Bibles. <laughs> Gee whiz. But albums in general, right? Uh, a lot of times, the label will play a factor. Different, man, different uh, labels, basically European, UK, Japan. There's just a lot of variations, a ton of them. I know that with Columbia, the older Columbias, they were called eyes. You could have two eyes, three eyes, six eyes, all kinds of stuff. So albums can be kind of tricky. So you want to pick up ones that are unique. And why did I pick up Helix? Right up here. Promotional copy and capital record promotional copy. That's what that is right there. That's pretty much why I got this one. Paid $249 at Goodwill. That's going to help the value of this album a little bit. Not tremendous, but it will help it probably in the 5 to $8 range, I think, in general. I'll probably get about $20 to $25 for this particular album. I like to pick up the metal ones, and this is a metal-type band, Helix. So pretty uh, cool. I don't even know if the year is on this one. Uh, I'll look and I can't see it. I'll just move on. I can't see it. So let's move on. <laughs> All right, let's pick up uh, this guy. Went back around to a Goodwill that I don't normally hit because it's sometimes can be really bad. And I just, you know, but I came back around. I ran my route like I talk about. Came back around and hit this one on late in the afternoon. I picked up this Trend Labs stride semi-custom insoles semi-custom insoles and uh brand new so brand new women's size seven and we paid a whopping four five dollars and 49 cents for something we're probably going to get 40 to 50 dollars on and this will go first class pretty light just probably put it in a uh, poly bag and off it goes so simple 50 bucks right there where else are we going all right we'll talk about this one because uh they're sitting right by me I am not a glassware guy, okay? Now, I was looking at these. Now, this this here was, uh, I probably got talked into this, all right? I'll explain in a second. There are two beer steins, Jap uh, German. Oh, my gosh, Japanese? Really, Mike? <laughs> Germans. There you are, German steins. And it says, Entala, Entala Keller on the house. Now, one is from 1990 and one is from 1991, so they're kind of a pair. They're two different designs, if you can see. There they are, two different designs. I was at a Goodwill, and I'm looking at these on the uh, cart. I had one, and a lady walks up. She was going to buy both of those, and I said, yeah, I'm thinking about it. She goes, that's a good choice. So we're talking about the, even me, a picker, who has some knowledge, kind of like was like getting talked into these two uh, steins, okay? And she asked, well, what's the price? And I said, $5.49. She goes, even better. So I did pick them up. Now, I don't know where we're gonna sell them at 40, 50 bucks, I hope, something like that, plus some shipping. That's that's kind of where I think I might get more, I don't know. But as I left the store, she saw that I bought them and she said, you did good. She gave me thumbs up and uh, I said, thank you, uh, obviously. But yeah, hey, I got talked into it a little bit there, but that's cool, that's all right. Not gonna kill me, I'll sell them, I'll make money on them. All right, uh, I gotta put this down because this is Honey Hole Thrift Store stuff. We've talked about this, right? Olympus 35 millimeter. This is the brand we wanna look for in these point and shoots. This is the Zoom 140. There are several in this whole series from them. This one is waterproof in all weather, that kind of thing. Not waterproof, but all weather. I think it's just water resistant. $14.99. They're getting a little wise on these a little bit now. They're starting to figure it out. But this is $140 roughly for this uh, uh, Olympus Zoom 140. Left it in the bag, but that's what it's that's what it's going for. We'll test it again. Uh, someday I got to put together another toolkit uh, video, but I do have a toolkit video. I'll try and put that link in the description. You can watch that. I carry batteries 
uh, in the field, but I also carry them at home and I have them here to test. Obviously everybody, you, you should have all kinds of camera batteries to test uh, these little guys out right here. All right, let's go right here. A ah, golfer, I'm not gonna miss these in general. Um, these are uh, ooh, Adidas and these are Adidas Boost. And um, a little bit unique here because they crank. So they crank for tightening instead of shoelaces. We paid $12.69, okay, for these. Uh, some golf shoes can go for quite a bit of money, over 100 bucks, 150, but not these. These are gonna get me about 50 to 65. In that range, I'll clean them up there. Look real good. Things you watch for, make sure all the all the cleats are there, okay? That really is a plus. They're easy to clean up, uh, but make sure that the cleats are there. That, that will help you a lot, and the leather, everything looks really, really good on those. All right, let's, uh, let's go down to this one. Got a couple of unique ones here. This one's kind of unique. Now, when you see it, you go, okay, I, I've never seen this before. So this is part of picking. This is what's a lot of fun. So I paid $10.69. Well, what is it? Can, can you guess real quick? Before I tell you, I'm gonna spin it around a little bit. Okay, what is it? It is a pedal extender for kids. So when kids can't reach the pedals, this thing here cranks, I don't know if I can crank it or not, but it rises up and it's getting wider. You can see it, it rises up so that they can then operate the pedals. 1069, this guy is going to sell for about 70, roughly $70. It's just too unique to pass up. Uh, you know, I think if I shrink it down and get it down to its smallest size, about probably put $25 shipping on this. That's kind of how I how I work, guys. This is about, uh, this would be kind of a, a medium to large. So this is right there about 25, because I can get it in a pretty square box. I'm thinking 25, maybe 29 in that range. 25 to 29, pretty straightforward thinking about the shipping of something like that. All right, where are we going? Let's go to this one. Hope I get everything. Now this one, I was the again. It was the end of the day, and I was in uh, the Goodwill that I really normally don't go to. And lo and behold, I, I met two friends. I met one picker, Roger. I always run into Roger, and Ben. And Ben's not really a picker, but he buys stuff. And, and I've known Ben from when I went bowling uh, uh, in a bowling league. And Ben's really cool. Hadn't seen him in a while. So Ben, if you see my video, good to see you, my friend. And I looked on top of this metal table, and here was this guy. Stealth, game your core. So it's, you, you see, I didn't really know what it was right off the bat. And then, I, then it caught my eye, and I go, okay, now I know what it is. And I've seen it on TV. It's one of those things where you're going to put your core in balance on the ground. Uh, and you put your phone here. There's a little pad here for your phone. I don't know what else goes there, but there's a pad that this is where your phone would go. And there's some games that you play to exercise to. We paid $10.69 for it. It goes anywhere from $75 to $100. So $75 to $100. So uh, pretty, pretty fair deal on that. that and then shipping wise, you know, that's, that's the key. I, I should be able to find a box that it'll fit in exactly. That's, that's what's going to be really key with that. All right. Let's get over to the Honey Hole Thrift Store and we'll talk about the Honey Hole Thrift Store. I got one, two, three, four. I got a few here. Not much, but I got a few. I might have missed something, but we'll go over it here. Ah, so we paid for everything I'm gonna show you from the Honey Hole Thrift Store. We paid $115, $150. Sephora, this is old school. This is a little bit older. Can't quite find this one on there. But uh, this is going to probably get us between 75 and 125. I have to give you a big range because I'm just not 100% positive. But Sephora stuff, brand new, older uh, sells. Just like perfume. If you find older perfume, people who ha have had that perfume love that perfume and will pay for it. Same thing. So sometimes they want the specific makeup, right? Some of the specific makeup. All right. Here is a... Axis camera, little camera right here. And we're gonna get about $50 for this little Axis camera. 
Uh, no way to really test it, but we'll put it up and we'll say untested and we should be able to still get about 50, $50 right there. Put that one down. This one is Roost and it's a, it is a um, leak detector thing. So if you get a leak, it goes off. It's like an alarm, a leak elector alarm Roost. This would be 35 to 45, that kind of range possibly right there. Um, all right, we got, I'm gonna save the, the best ones for last. I'm all over the map here, <laughs> trying to figure all this out. What is this one, guys? Looks like a record album, right? Ooh, it's a record album or a book. No, nope, not a book. Getting back to cameras, okay? This is very unique. It's a Lomo camera. And I gotta open it up here. I don't wanna drop it. There you go. It's a wooden camera that you put together yourself. Very cool. See that? Now, this is called Cruise, C R O Z, wooden camera crossover collection, digital Lomo camera. Okay. Now, I, I don't know what Lomo is right off the top of my head. I know what it is, not off the top of my head. So uh, maybe do, if you wanna know, do a little search, you'll figure out what Lomo is. But that's uh, interesting here. Okay, from the Honey Hole Thrift Store, this should be 75 to $100. 75 to 100 right here. Picked up a little Cary Grant. Uh, there's a little gentleman's uh, collection. Boy, you don't make movies like this anymore, right guys? A lot of us are my age or whatever, or, or older or, but, uh, they just don't, they just don't. That's all I can say, they just don't. I went and saw Death of the Nile. I made it, I didn't have a problem with my wife. Uh, I've seen Death of the Nile, various versions, and this was Kenneth Branagh. Uh, I hope I said his name right, as Hercule Poirot, and it was really cool. I, I thought it was a nice uh, nice version of it. Can't go wrong with that kind of movie. That's my kind of movie, something simple, something basic, uh, something I can uh, kind of understand and not explosions going off everywhere, but I do love the action movie still, okay? So don't get me wrong, don't turn me into an old geezer yet. So the Cary Grant one. Uh, well, I did forget one thing that I got at Goodwill, so I'm gonna show you that real quick. This one right here. This is an automatic emergency messaging telephone dialer, brand new brand new paid 749 not a ton of money but there's good comps on it it does sell for about 60 to 65 dollars brand new that's the key if it's used mm, but brand new yes i'm going with that yes i'm going with that so that's really really cool i want to make sure i haven't forgot i got one more i got the big one here but i want to make sure uh i can show you all right here we go three of these guys three of them one two Three. What are they, people? They're tubes, but is there something in the tubes? Yes, they are fly fishing rods. This one is a Tenkara, okay, Tenkara. And both of these are Orvis, I think. Orvis, and this one is Orvis also. Now, fly fishing, just to give you this, is really, really popular. Fly fishing is off the chart sometimes. Uh, so when you see this kind of stuff, you just grab it all. It doesn't matter. It will sell. It will sell. And um, this one here is 400 to 500 right here. This one. It is uh, eight and a half foot long, two, two and five eighths ounces, number four line. So that tells you what kind of line it is. The weight, pretty light. Stuff is light. So the stuff is light. Um, Orvis great brand we've all seen the orvis brand they've been around forever this one here this one here is around 250 250 Let's see if i can pull it out just to kind of give you an idea what they sort of look like handle ah this one's kind of buried the handle uh let's see if i can pull it out maybe i can maybe i can't eh, i don't have it unfortunately it's this i choose the one where it's wrapped up beautiful you know you see they come into pieces this is an orvis super fine super fine you can tell they're just super super light amazing how the strength of these things can hold up to uh all the action from a fish tugging on it but yep they know what they're doing all right the fly fishermen definitely know what they're doing i'll put that really careful this guy here is about a hundred dollar bill 
So this one's a hundred. So you're talking about two, three fifty, about you know six, seven, eight hundred dollars worth of fishing rods. Fishing rods. Love it, love it. So I had a successful day out in the field doing what I do, and I'm gonna stop right here and turn it around and show you some things that I sold. Be right back. All right, we're back. Took my jacket off. It's now it's nice in here. I got a built-in insulation, as they say. So now I'm feeling a little bit better. Came home, it was just a little cold. Put it on, take it off. It's California, it's California. All right, we uh, got seven items that I sold. That's it, seven. Nothing, you know, uh, we got a couple cool things. We got a couple cool things, but um, remember my average, about eight a day. That's all I do, all year long. So think about that. If you're trying to get some numbers going, the key here is to find the really good stuff, right? The good stuff. Uh, I think there's an episode in um, Jerry Seinfeld. Me and my buddies, we always talk about it. Well, you got to get the Ted Danzen stuff, the Ted Danzen stuff. Interesting quote from, uh, I think it's Seinfeld. I'm pretty sure it's Seinfeld. Get the Ted Danzen stuff. All right. Anyhow, um, I did forget one thing I want to show you because it's unique. I like to show you the unique stuff because you can find this almost anywhere and it can go for some good money. Now, this is a jump rope. Yes, a jump rope. It's just like everything. There's a lot of jump roping competitions, all that kind of stuff. And this is cross rope. It's called cross rope. So remember the brand. It's for CrossFit, that kind of thing. So uh, there are different lengths, I guess, is what they come out to. Um, this guy was also part of the um, Honey Hole Thrift Store. And uh, these will get us about 50 to $60, 50 to 60 bucks. So nice, nice little find. This is the kind of stuff that I, I like finding this stuff. If I could find 10 of these a day, this kind of stuff, I'd love it because they're easy to ship and there's no other issues, generally speaking. Generally speaking, no damage, all that kind of stuff. All right. Now we're going to start right back off on the Bibles because there was that, you know, person who was kind of ripping me in the comments about selling Bibles, and we've, we've heard that over and over. Um, and I've said, hey, look, some people live in different areas and they can't get that type of Bible, et cetera, et cetera. Here's an example of one that I think is, you know, might be tough for someone to get, at least maybe in their area. This is the Holy Bible in the King James Version, okay, King James Version. I think I saw, I think I, I, uh, uh, meet part of their criteria with the King James Version. Now, this is a Tagalog English Daglot edition. <laughs> okay, so it's Filipino, I think, right? And one side is going to have the Tagalog uh, dialect, I guess, or and then the other side is going to have the English. So that's what, that's what happens here. Uh, this one was brand new. There was a cellophane on it, but it was kind of torn, so I had to take it off. So I mentioned that in the ad, and this is when I got back, when I went to Safeway, like the day I got back from uh, Florida, and I walked in and I picked this up for $3.99. So basically a $40 bill, because it sold for $40 plus $5 shipping, just by going next door and taking a look. Get those two feet moving, go in, take a quick browse, and I got that. So pretty good, really, really good. All right, now, um, there's some conch shells that I've gotten before, and then I've gotten one of these, and I got one of these, okay? This is Triton's Trumpet. Some of these can go for a lot of money. This one went for not a whole lot of money, but we only paid, I remember, $4.99 or $5.99 at Savers. Triton's Trumpet, look at that, really, really good condition. There is just a little nick here, but, you know, that's nothing. Sold for fifty dollars plus twenty seven dollars shipping. I got I got quite a bit of shipping there. Make sure we wrap it up nice and that's the key here. When we talk about would you rather sell this for fifty or this for fifty? I think I'll sell this. I can ship this and there's probably no problems. This has potential for problems. Okay, but I'm still gonna ship both. I'm still gonna ship both. All right, now, I thought this was going to sell towards Christmas. It didn't. I've had these before. This is Muscle Machines, and this is a 50 Ford Woody. It was brand new in the box. I think I paid about eight, nine bucks. I just had to get rid of it. 
uh, and I took $23 to move it on out, plus 17 shipping. Now, if I find the right box, I might make a few dollars, like four bucks on the shipping, maybe. It depends on where it goes, but should make about four dollars maybe on the shipping. All right, let's go to Arnold. No, it's not sealed. No, it's not forty-five hundred dollars. It's only twelve dollars plus five dollars shipping. It's not new, sealed, all that kind of stuff. I'll put my VHS tape video, I hopefully, on the description so you can watch that one if you don't know about the two VHS tapes I sold. One I sold for $4,500 and one I sold for $1,500. Those were sealed, and that was on October 30th of last year. Remember, I remember the date, and they have never left feedback. Nothing, none of them. Yeah, so, but they made it to their destination. And uh, some of the keys, what people are going, well, how do you find the ones that are worth the big money. First, they got to be sealed, okay? Second, a big factor is you don't want a UPC code, generally, okay? There are a few that do, but the older ones don't have the UPC code. Then it's all about the front and the back, and my particular one I sold for 4500 it was Indiana Jones uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and down below, right down here on the tape, it said, coming May 25th, Temple of Doom. And that was the trigger of the uniqueness of that particular tape. And that's why it sold for as much as it did. And believe it or not, I probably undersold it. But $4,500, you take that every day. Okay. Next time I'm on alert and I learned something. Okay. Yeah. You learn something when you sell something for $4,500. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Yeah. Pretty wild. All right. Here we go. Again, back to my mini LPs. I'm thinking this is the band I should have. I should have gotten a thousand of these, you know, Chicago. The Chicago, they're different albums. If you ever look at Chicago, it's usually just the word Chicago, that Chicago font that you see, and some other design. That's basically how their album covers are in general. These are the Japanese mini LPs that are uh, basically uh, smaller versions, but CD versions of the original LP. Now, these two sold to one person for $108 plus $9 shipping. What do we pay for these? Remember, 10 cents a piece, basically, for all of this stuff right here. Pure profit, basically zero. And I mean, I still got a bunch more. And wow, hopefully I got... That's the great thing about sometimes about me. I've got probably 150 left, maybe more. I don't know, but at least that. And here's the kicker. I haven't looked at them in a while, so I don't know what I have in there. I just kind of take about 15 or 20, and then I put them up. So I might run into another band that has, you know, 10 or 12 that'll be like Chicago and pay me $45, $50, $55 a copy. So that's that's the fun of it. I just, that's me. I, that's the one area people go, what, is there something that you collect? People don't realize that the two things that I collect or will hold on to a little bit are... Uh, albums which and and uh, magic and I mean sleight of hand magic I collect a little bit of that uh, I love that and so I will collect that and I will keep that around for a while and I enjoy uh, I enjoy that so there you go something a little bit different about me all right last one the big one just got this last week I only paid like eight bucks or something at uh, savers it was dirt cheap it's a Logan simplex Mat cutter, <laughs> Simpex Plus mat cutter. Uh, yeah, look at the box. It's a pretty big box, right? But guess what? Sitting right over there, sitting right over there, this is the box this guy goes in. I don't even have to do really anything to it. I just have to put a little bit of packing right around the side, and I'm done. $175 plus $40 shipping. So sweet. Sold quickly. And boom, you know, so what I got, 175, 275, 300, 400, looks like about 500. So roughly 500 gross. We talk gross. We don't want to make sure we don't, we'll tell you net when we do net, but this is 500 gross. And what's 500 times 365? Basically $182,000 a year in gross sales, gross sales just from eBay if you can do 500. So start out at 100 two three four five we talk about that all the time great good day good day and tomorrow is another day and we look forward to getting up in the morning why 
because we don't know what we're going to find and it's exciting and it's fun and that's what it's all about and once you get that joy going you can't be stopped you just can't be stopped you might run into a roadblock here and there but guess what it works around you go right around that roadblock straight ahead all right we will see you next time don't forget to hit the like subscribe all that kind of stuff leave me a comment and let me know let me know what you're thinking i love it see you guys later